What is going on guys and today we're gonna go over the top five of the worst characters in art. And you might be wondering, basic didn't you already do this? And yes I did, but it was a horrible version. You probably didn't even hear what the hell I said. The screen was messy because I had horrible internet when I was broadcasting on Xbox. So now I'm doing a better version of it. Right, you can actually hear me talk and I actually have footage and I actually have good ideas or good reasons why. I don't like the caves, so we're going to do the top 5 of the worst caves in Narc. Obviously, we're going to be doing only in the island, because that's only the caves I've actually done in the island, so here we go, top 5. So coming into our number 5 is the Artifact of the Massive. You might be wondering, why is the Artifact of the Massive in number 5? Why shouldn't it be a, a bad artifact, if you ask my ask, maybe? The Artifact of the Massive isn't a hard cave. Or should I say, it isn't a hard cave for a boss that is easy. For example, the cave is three of the three requirements for the brood nut. Um, you need the artifact of the hunter, the artifact of the clever, and the artifact of the massive. Artifact of the hunter, piece of cake. Artifact of the clever, piece of cake. The massive is just way more harder than two of them combined. Like. Like, you're a beginner on ARC, and you're gonna just be- uh, You're just gonna do Artifact of the Hunter. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Artifact of the Clever, it's not too hard. The Massive is just way more different from those two. And this is for the Brood Mother. The Brood Mother is like an easy boss, you know? You just need a couple of Mega Teams or T-Rexes, and you'll get it piece of cake. Easy, moving on. But for the Massive? This is like a hard- Hey, for example, there's like onyx everywhere, so you're gonna need lesser antidote. It's hot in there, so you need free curry, I think it's what it's called. Or I don't know, but it's just a hard cave in general. This is the lava onyx man. Like the bats, they just spam the hell out of you. You need lesser antidote, alright? You're gonna need a good dino, alright? You need a dino that jumps because there's ravines. Ah, <sighs> sorry. Coming in at number four is going to be the tech cave. So, the tech cave isn't- I didn't necessarily put the tech cave at number one or number two or just the top two or whatever. Mostly because there's a lot of- it gives you a lot of freedom, you know? There's a lot of things it gives you in the tech cave. What I'm essentially saying is that you- you're not- you are- how do I say it, but you are limited to a lot of things. But like. Like, you can- you can get a lot of stuff in the tech cave, you can get- No, you can't get 20, you can get 40 dinos in the tech cave. And, like, the game, like, makes it fair. It just makes it fair for you, you know? That's, like, the good side of the tech cave. You could get med rooms, you could get 40 dinosaurs, like, you get some UDs, maybe some T-Rexes and all that crap. You know, fight the overseer. It's not, like, really bad, so it gives you, like, a chance to actually, you know, do good, so it's still a bad- it, it, there are some flaws on the tech cave. For example, there's Prolobius, which I hate, but like I said, you could write on- um, the tech cave is huge, so you could write on, like, a T-Rex and Prolobius and really stun you. So you can get like mud blues and that, alright, I gotta go to the tech cave, I gotta get this and that. The one problem is the Giga up the end, which is like 300, so it's a really big level. But most people just shoot it and then just goes into the lava and dies really easy. There's nothing wrong with the tech cave, there's nothing, there's nothing good, there's nothing really bad about the tech cave, there's nothing good about it, you know? It doesn't really serve a... It doesn't really serve anything good, but it doesn't serve anything bad. It's just it's just an average cave that, that many people that many people just like to not like to do, um many people just do, you just gotta get over it. And you gotta do the overseer. That's the one problem I have. You need to regen or else you're gonna die. You also have a time limit until the door closes and you can't put any more dinos in. So you have about if I believe so, five minutes until the door closes, and then you can no longer put any dinos inside the tech cave. You can only put 40, which is already good enough. And then there's like 
you know, even on Gamma difficulty, you still get a Giga at the end, which is kind of dumb, but, I mean, come on, that's the last, it's the last cave you have to do on the island, so I, I, I guess, I guess that's fair, so yeah, but other than that, that cave is, it's fair, you know, it's a fair cave to do, you just gotta get medbergs, kill armor, all this and that, fur, gilly, maybe flak, I don't know. All, that's all you have to do in the tech cave when it comes to the tech cave. So it's really not a bad cave, but it's not a good cave. That's why it's only on number four. So necessarily what I'm trying to say is that it's not a really bad cave. It's still bad in some way, but you know, like if if I if I were you, um, I wouldn't be very scared of the tech cave unless you have like less than 20 T-Rexes then I would be worried. Other than that, it's a uh, okay cave, I guess. You just gotta just get everything in the cave in time or else you're gonna be in a struggle. Coming in at number 3 is the artifact of the immune. And you might be wondering, compared to the tech cave, why is the artifact of the immune more? The artifact of the immune is easy, okay? So why is the tech cave higher than the artifact of the immune? It was a real big tie among these two, but I figured that the artifact of the immune was the harder cave and the more worse cave because the artifact of the immune requires a lot. Now I know the tech cave requires way more, but this isn't like the final boss cave. This is only like this is like this is only one of the artifacts of the dragon and I know it's for the dragon but come on for a cave as easy as this you're gonna need this much just for a cave this easy so you need gas masks you you could use parapods if you want to make appearance but I would recommend a baryonyx you could um get baryonyxes bug repellent, gas mask, and a grappling hook if you just want to get the artifact of the short way. There's a lot of stuff you need for this cave, and it's such a short cave. But without any of them, you're gonna die because, you know, so yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a hard cave, it's just the requirements are stupid for the cave. I don't really want to waste all my time getting like 50 gas masks, but I have to. Coming in at our number two is the artifact of the straw. Now you might be wondering, the artifact of the straw, good pick, but why? Is what you're probably asking, or if you don't know I'm sure you read them, then you probably don't know. The artifact of the straw is a very difficult cave, and a cave I unfortunately don't like. Because this cave is incredibly cold. You're going to die of hypothermia even if you bring fur armor. That is primitive. If you bring a primitive fur armor, you're going to die. Don't bring primitive fur armor. I'd suggest you go deep underwater and go find deep underwater blue crates so you can get send up fur armor or something like that. Because it's way better and it actually gives you installation, insulation and you can actually survive longer in the you're gonna probably need that breeze, a shotgun, whatever, and you're definitely gonna need big donuts like a Udigram as an ally, okay? Because it's like probably the best idea, and I'm gonna recommend doing this alone, as you would have to move all the dinos in place in this one. It's kind of like a mini version of the tech cave, because you have big dinos and you gotta move them all in, except your time limit is forever. You gotta put bed so you can respawn. There's Perlovius, which makes the game even worse, which I hate. I hate Perlovius, and especially the Snow Perlovius, which are better than, which have better stats than a regular Perlovia. So I would suggest you actually get good dinos that are at least over 200. Get Allos, UD, so they could boost them. All right. So you can finally get the strong, and now you gotta go all the way back, and you got the icy water that can kill you. So you gotta get your dinos out of there, you got direwolves, onyx, you got all this crap you have to do, and it's so painful. I hate this game so much, alright? But it's not as much as number one, which 
is going to be coming up next so stay tuned for that i hate the other effect is strong but it's but you have to do it and it comes in at our number two spot and coming in at our number one of the top five of the worst caves in arc specifically the island is the artifact of the cunning never have i seen a worse cave than the cunning at least in the artifact of the strong you can actually like prepare and you can actually go through the entire cave not with the cunning you have to literally deal with thousands of sharks and two souls there's like 50 two souls 50 sharks 50 of everything there's like a billion alpha sharks and it's so annoying you have to deal with all this shit i'm just wondering how do you make it through this cave how this cave is harder than the dragon itself i would not recommend doing this cave by yourself i've only ever done this cave once okay never have i seen a cave so bad so difficult to do and so unfair that i hate this with every fiber of my freaking body Screw this cave. I hate this cave so much. It should not exist. I. It's not even fair. It's not a fair cave. It's not a good cave. It's just a piece of crap that lies at the bottom of the ocean in the island. Screw this cave. I hate this cave. You have 50 dunkles, 50 of everything, 50 to so 50 all to this. I hate this cave. Screw this cave. I am done. That it comes in at our number one spot. Wow, that was certainly quite a list. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. It was a lot of fun making it. Um, I plan on making more top fives because these are actually really fun to make. At least the good version instead of my really bad top fives that don't have any quality. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you leave a like in the video and subscribe and all that crap. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye-bye.